Hi Pisces and Happy New Year to all of you. This is going to be your general love reading for the first half of January 2022 and it is for your Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs and it is going to be general so it's not going to resonate for everybody's situation but of course you can check out one of your other signs or you can book a personal reading with me if you'd like. All that information is in the description box. Do keep in mind that the roles can be reversed because this reading is general. All right, so overall energy for Pisces, we have lessons. Okay, so somebody <clears throat> is learning a lot of lessons. And what I'm getting is that I feel like these lessons are, are being successfully completed is what I'm getting. So let's get into the tarot and see what this is about for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. first couple weeks of January. Who we just had death um, fly out. So yeah, definitely, first of all, Scorpio. So some of you might be dealing with a Scorpio, but also some kind of a transition, possibly an ending for some of you, but a huge transformation, definitely. All right, so let's see. For the situation, we have the Page of Pentacles crossed by the King of Swords. All right. There's a situation here where somebody is, again, it, it's like learning. <laughs> There's learning. And I feel like what is <clears throat> actually left here to do is to actually take those lessons and apply them as this King of Swords, like to fully um, integrate what it is that you or maybe even the other person um, have learned and put them into practice. Let's see. Put them into practice as well as to just fully, fully um, <clears throat> be aware of them as well. So for your recent past, we have the Queen of Pentacles. In your current energy, the Five of Cups. Near future, we have Justice. Okay, so Libra energy is showing up here. Okay, so again, I mean, maybe this is you because I feel like with this Queen of Pentacles, this is you really wanting to nurture your own self. So this could have been possibly part, part of the lesson, um, finding your own sense of self-worth. However, it feels like currently you might be having a little bit of a difficult time because there's this grief. It could be that there is something from the past that might still be weighing a little heavy on you. But you are moving towards justice here, which is all about um, karmic balance. So if there is some kind of a karmic situation that you've been dealing with, I feel like that is actually um, coming to some kind of a resolution here. But you're definitely on the right path is what I'm getting. Let's see for them. We have the High Priestess for their recent past, currently the Eight of Wands. And... Coming up in their near future, we have the Three of Wands and the potential outcome here, we have the Wheel of Fortune. All right, Pisces. We're gonna have to clarify this person's energy, I feel, quite a bit before I say too much because I feel like they may have been holding back a little bit um, in the recent past. They may have been holding back, not necessarily, but what I'm getting here is this person was actually learning a lot too. I feel like this is a person who is very spiritually aware, in tune with their own self, um, possibly very intuitive. We'll see. Currently, this, however, this person really wants to communicate with you. They want movement, they want action. They could be moving um, towards you, but again, it feels like there's something though that you're feeling grief over. And then I, because it feels like, yeah, it feels like this person is actually moving towards you, but you are the one who might be a little bit closed off to this because then again, I see them kind of waiting here. I feel like they're doing something currently and then waiting to see what the results will be. And basically, it's going to be positive, right? There's going to be a huge shift. And I say it's going to be positive because you have justice here. So whatever 
whatever the case, it's like there is some kind of a resolution here for you. So whatever this person is waiting for, I feel like it's actually coming in and there's just going, things are going to shift. Things are going to begin to move in a completely new direction here. Again, even with that Wheel of Fortune, that's representing um, karmic resolutions as well or lessons having been, been learned. So it's all pretty coherent here and consistent. So let's see. I see. So let's see the Page of Pentacles with the King of Swords. Ooh, all right. The Ace of Pentacles, the Ace of Swords, and the Page of Cups. All right, all talking about a new beginning, putting it into practice, actually making that decision, taking action based on love, following your heart basically. So somebody is really learning this lesson big time, okay? Whether it's you or the other person, um, I'm not I'm not sure yet. And it, it doesn't even really matter, you would know. But there's definitely, definitely um, a lesson being learned here about opening up to love, following emotions, or just opening up emotionally when it comes to expressing that. So, I mean, two pages and two aces, that's all about a new beginning. And it's all a matter of actually, you know, finding that determinism to, okay, you know, I've learned the lessons, take them, put them into practice, start, go, begin. All right, let's see the Queen of Pentacles. For your recent past, and we get another ace, the Ace of Wands. There's, there's this huge push from the universe here that's happening. Um, pushing for a new beginning. Pushing for a new beginning. So basically, I feel like you've already um, begun to increase your sense of self-worth and what it is that you deserve, what it is that you want, nurturing your own self. Not worrying so much about how you might appear to others and or what other people want but actually taking care of your own self and because of that that's actually giving you this boost or it gave you this boost i'm actually i'm not i'm gonna look at this person separately let's um let's see the current energy for you let's see the five of cups because I feel like these past energies for you and them, they're a little bit separate. They're not necessarily about each other. All right, so for the Five of Cups, we have the Lovers, the Queen of Swords, and the Sun. All right, so Gemini and Leo showing up here. What is this about? It feels like you're grieving something from the past, something, this love connection. That felt like, you know, it's it's so fulfilling, like it's so happy. And for whatever reason, though, either that or you're feeling guilty about something here. Possibly feeling if you... If you moved away from this person or if you kind of created some distance between you and the other person, it could be that you're feeling a little bit of guilt or that that's kind of just um, making you feel sad. But it's like, I feel like if you did that, you did that so that you could work on your sense of self-worth here. There was something that was happening within you. Because we... Uh, because we also had that death card. Um, did we? No, that was for Scorpio. Or was I don't even remember. <laughs> oh, gosh. Okay. It doesn't matter. I think it was for Scorpio, but there must be a reason why that even popped up into my mind. Um, yeah, there's some sadness here about, about the connection with, with someone else, which you feel could be very happy and... It feels like you um, may have created some distance between, between you and this other person. And even though you did that, <clears throat> maybe they did, but I'm just seeing it as, as it being you. Um, it, 
even though it was your choice, like it still created some sadness. And it feels like you're still kind of holding on to that. Let's see what's going on with this other person. <clears throat> so for the high priestess and their recent past, we have the hanged man. Okay, yeah, so it feels like they were holding back. Um, I feel like there was a lot that they were feeling intuitively. Um, there was a lot that they know, especially about this connection. However, they were holding back. They were taking some kind of a break, some kind of a pause. And it could be because, you know, maybe you initiated that and they just kind of, you know, kept their distance as well. Hmm. I don't feel like it was, um, it wasn't a pointless type of a pause. There's definitely a lot going on here, both with the hanged man as well as with the high priestess. Because like I said, this is all about um, alignment and being spiritually in tune. So I feel like there was a lot that was going on for this person energetically and spiritually moving forward, possibly learning lessons as well. But it was more... Um, it was more subtle because it was on an energetic base, um, level. So it was, it, it's not something that was easy, easily visible. All right, let's see the Eight of Wands. I see them in a completely different kind of an energy now. I see them being active and driven. All right, we have Temperance and we have the Three of Swords. I do wanna get one more. There we go. And the Chariot, okay. So Sagittarius as well as Cancer. Making an appearance here. Mm. Really interesting. This person is like, oh gosh, okay. I feel like they are charging ahead. They're either really trying to communicate, maybe they are communicating, um, taking certain actions, but at the same time, at the same time, they're trying to hold to hold themselves back. Because there's some kind of pain that they're dealing with as well, which I do feel like it's related to you. It's almost like this person is having a hard time controlling themselves. I feel like, you know, they were possibly waiting for a long time, right? Being in this um, hanged man and high priestess type of an energy where, you know, they, they were in this pause, right? Like either giving you space or figuring things out for their own self. And so now, it's almost like that, <laughs> they're in this opposite type of an energy where it's like, all right, all right, okay, you know, enough, enough. Like now, now I'm feeling impatient. It's a lot of impatience here. And they're really trying to um, moderate that. They're trying to moderate this rush that they're feeling, this urgency to come moving towards you because they're, they're possibly afraid of getting hurt. Or maybe they know they've hurt you and so they could be um, concerned that you, because you're grieving, so, or you're, you're feeling some kind of sadness, some kind of pessimism about this. And so they might be picking up on that or know about that, and so they're afraid that you might cause pain for them now. Not on purpose, but that it might just, you know, happen that way. And so that's why they're trying to hold themselves back, but I feel like, they, you know, they, they're having a hard time controlling themselves at the moment, <clears throat> just really urgently wanting to pick up the speed here. For some of them, it could even be that they're feeling like they're, they're running out of time. Could be the other way around as well. I don't know. Let's see. Let's see justice for you. Coming up in the near future. Alright, the Eight of Cups, the Nine of Cups, and <clears throat> the Seven of Swords.
yeah, you're you're walking away from something here. There's something that you are rejecting. I don't I don't feel like it is this other person that we're talking about here because I do see you as you as you're walking away from something else, I see you moving towards what it is that would give you um, fulfillment. And I feel like that's what this like karmic balance is all about here. That karmic resolution is finally, you know, whatever it is that you have learned here actually <clears throat> um, applying that. Because I see that being more for you. Again, unless the roles are reversed. You are applying that by walking away from something <clears throat> which is actually moving you towards your wish fulfillment. Alright, let's see the Three of Wands for them. The Seven of Pentacles and the Empress. Okay, so <laughs> oh, this person is <laughs> a little funny here. Um, not in the bad way. <clears throat> because it feels like you know they they like they like I said they were learning lessons as well. Um, then they got a little bit um, impatient here, really wanting. I feel like their lessons, wanting to apply their lessons as well, or just feeling impatient for certain things to happen, trying to keep themselves back, but not really having control. And then coming up, I see them going back to having a little bit of patience here, but it's like they're having that patience after they have already put certain things into motion though. So it's like they set the ball rolling and then it's like, okay, now wait for the next step. And that next step is definitely, you know, in some way moving towards you. And, and it could even be that they feel like the ball is in your court now and so they're waiting um, to see back, back from you what your next move will be. All right, let's see that Wheel of Fortune <clears throat> for the potential outcome here. All right, and we have the Four of Swords and the Three of Cups. Okay, so this is actually very beautiful because things are shifting towards... Um, first of all, this the Three of Cups can definitely talk about a reconciliation. All right, but this is also coming in with a lot of healing that will have taken place. So after all of these lessons are being learned and so healing has taken place, um, there's this reconciliation, things feeling very, very happy and shifting in that direction. So whatever, you know, um, pain there was here, right, with this Three of Swords that showed up here um, for them, this Five of Cups for you, I feel like that's all going to be in the past. It's like recovering from that and things finally feeling happy and light. Yeah, Pisces. <clears throat> it's a really nice way to close out the reading there. All right, so if this resonated, let's see the final message for you. Final message for Pisces. And we have the balsamic moon, a time for healing. Yep, <laughs> pretty much what I was just talking about. This is definitely a time for healing. They're healing some pain here. You're healing some kind of grief as well. All of this is just um, helping you to fully embody these lessons and put them into practice. So yeah, that is it, Pisces. I thank you so much for watching and much love.